Welcome back to Tech by Pike. It's been a while since we posted our last video. In that last video, we talked a little bit about our move and that we wouldn't be posting for a while. Well, we have now moved. I now have a new studio with a door, which is pretty exciting because the last studio did not have a door. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, and uh, then we're going to do an unboxing of our Steam Deck that we finally got. We reserved ours back in September of last year, and it's finally arrived, and we're going to do an unboxing and some initial thoughts around uh, look and feel and the chassis. Uh, so we're going to check that out. Um, but I want to show you the um, studio first. Uh, there are some things that we still have to do. We have to put the Tech by Pike sign up on the wall where it's fixed behind me while I'm doing my videos. And then we need to do our noise canceling foam uh, around the room for noise reduction. But let's take a look and you can see how far we've come. So here is the table and storage that we'll be doing quite a bit of our reviews on. We have some cameras, we have our some of our lights up, we need to get some more. Here's the desk I'll be doing my uh, video editing on, and then I've got some more lighting storage, our uh, network, um, and then we have a closet over there for more storage of all the new tech that we'll be reviewing on this particular channel. And then behind me here is where I'll be standing. Tech by Pike sign will go up there on the wall. So that's pretty much it. Um, we, like I said, we still have to put some noise canceling foam up. Uh, we need the sign and there's some more lighting that we need to bring in here, but there you go. Um, without further ado, let's do the unboxing of the new Steam Deck. All right, here it is, the Steam Deck. Uh, I've been looking forward to getting my hands on this thing for a year now because uh, that's when we ordered it back in September of last year, 2021. And uh, there's been a number of delays. Uh, it said it was going to come in the first quarter of 2022. Then it was delayed to um, September of this year. So this month. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unbox it and then we're going to check out the chassis the buttons, the trigger, we're gonna play some games, we're gonna check the whole thing out, and uh, I'll have some thoughts at the end. Let's get into it. Okay, let's unbox this thing. Oops, the other side. Okay, so. Attention, <laughs> plug it in, great. Oh, and then the power button, excellent. Okay, not sure what this is about, but it looks like it's indicating the Steam app maybe. Oh, and a mini SD card slot, cool. All right, we'll take a look at that. I'm gonna take this out which I think is the battery pack. And then this must be the Steam Deck in its own case. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna throw these over to the side here. And let's start with the battery pack. Looks like we're gonna need the knife here. Okay. Let me look at the wattage on this guy. I can't tell. Well, I'll have to take a closer look, but I can't tell exactly what kind of wattage that is. My eyes are too old. But I'll let you know in this video. Oops, right that. Uh, health, safety, maintenance, regulatory, and limited warranty agreement. Okay, that's good information to have. It's the end of that box. So let's open up the Steam Deck. Looks like it's got right here. The 
The games are going places. Oh, your games are going places. Okay. By Valve, Steam Deck. And this thing's just going to slide off like that. That's great. All right. I'm so excited. This is so awesome. Whoops. Okay, let's open it up here. Oh. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of a, a safety tag or something. Can I just get that off like this? Yes, I can. Okay, so they've included a case, which is great. And I will tell you, this Steam Deck is the 512 gigabyte uh, version. And then it looks like they gave us a uh, screen wipe here, uh, which is kind of neat. I think that's what that is. Oh yeah, okay. That's very cool. It's a hard shell, and um, it, I think this would protect it pretty well. If you see the, if you put the Steam Deck in though, there's no space for the charger, so you have to carry the charger separately, I guess, in a pocket or a bag, uh, whatever, which is unfortunate. Uh, so you'd have to carry that separately. Right? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, there's a strap right here and there's something underneath it. Not sure what that's about. Maybe you hook it onto your laptop bag or something? Not exactly sure. But this looks like... Okay, so I wonder if that's what that is for. To carry your battery pack in this pouch and then carry it as one piece behind the steam bag. I guess so. You can't lay it down flat, but that is one way to carry the battery pack or the power pack. Huh. All right, I like that a lot. The Steam Deck is really made uh, with this durable plastic. It is rock solid all the way around. No flex whatsoever that I can tell. Um, but let's go through the actual uh, buttons and the joystick and whatnot. It has a D-pad here, which is pretty decent. It has the L3 thumbstick and the R3 thumbstick. Um, and they feel really good. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up a little closer there. All right, and it has a mic right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a mic right here on both sides, actually. One over here as well. Uh, this is touch screen, has a menu button has the A, B, X, Y buttons here. Those are pretty nice. Has two track pads on both sides of the Steam Deck here. Um, they don't, they kind of click. And I don't know if they're, um, if they're what I would use them for. I'd have to be in game to check them out, but um, I don't know, they feel decent enough. Um, you have a left speaker and a right speaker. You have the Steam button here. I'm guessing that's to launch the actual Steam app and 
then you probably have a number of other options where you can choose the games that you download and games to purchase and so forth. And then you have a quick access button here. Not sure what that does. And then you have a view button here. Uh, we'll have to check that out to see exactly what that does as well. Let's put it up on the side here. So you have the L2 button, uh, R2 button, you have the volume buttons here, and then you have a headphone jack, you have uh, exhaust, uh, you have a type C charging port here, you have a status LED light, and then the power button. If we were to uh, flip it over here, you have the R4 and R5 buttons, and then the L5 right here, and then the L4 button. And then you have some exhaust here. And then you have a, on the bottom here, a micro SD card slot, which is kind of cool for more storage. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run through uh, the specs and on the particular Steam Deck, the model that we have. All right, the specs of our particular model of Steam Deck is we got the AMD APU. Uh, it's a Zen 2, gets up to 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz. And then it also comes with the 8R DNA 2 CPU uh, GPU and then um, the APU power up to four to 15 watts. We got the 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5. It's on board, of course. And then we got this 512 gigabyte high-speed NVMe SSD model. And then I'm gonna scroll down. You can check out the controls and input. More detail on the display, connectivity, audio, uh, it is 45 watt USB type C power supply and then a 40 watt battery two to eight hours of gameplay. We'll check that out. And then it talks a little bit here where you can get an actual docking station, which we did not get, but that is an option. All right, let's go ahead and power this guy on. The one thing I like about this Steam Deck is it just it just feels clean. It has a vibration motion. All right, we're gonna go to Steam here, library. So obviously I've already turned it on and downloaded some games so we can check it out. Um, but here's the three that I have right now. Um, I like I like the Steam Deck and how it calls out. Um, what games work best on this particular um, console. So I'm going to go to the store here and it'll tell you what's great on the Steam Deck and there's all kinds of games here that you can check out and then also I'll go back to my library and I have 11 games that work well on the Steam Deck. Obviously, I have 53 altogether and the three that I installed. Um, but here's the ones that are great on the Steam Deck. And I'm going to check out the three that I have installed. But if there's any here that you want to take a look at, and I'll maybe download a couple more uh, that are great on the Steam Deck from the store. Um, but are there if there's any here that you want to check out uh, just let me know and I can do that Okay, let's uh, go to installed and Let's check out spider-man And it tells you this game will use the official layout. Oh, okay, so it tells you what buttons you're going to be using Okay, well, I'm logged on to uh, Steam because I downloaded um, my screen capture software. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and then we'll get back to Spider-Man. 
Okay, we got out of Steam on my PC and now we're launching Spider-Man here. The screen is really bright. Try a little Elden Ring now. See what that looks like. I noticed while I was playing this game that the three dot button right here is more of a quick settings button while in game so you can adjust your sound. You don't have to go out of game to do it and the brightness. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can put it into airplane mode, Wi-Fi disconnect. Um, it even has the game rumble you can uh, disable and steam haptics. Anyway, uh, I just thought that was worth uh, mentioning. So that concludes the unboxing of the Steam Deck. A couple things that I really like about this handheld console is the fact that it comes with its own case. I like that. It has the power brick carrier and its little bag here. So I like that as well. That's a nice touch. Uh, typically, um, the case for some of these handhelds are sold separately. Um, all the triggers, the buttons, uh, just work phenomenally. Uh, they're very sturdy, very little flex on this console. Um, and it gets really, really loud, very clear. The screen is fantastic. The touch screen is very responsive, so that I do like. Um, I didn't get a chance to really use these triggers at the bottom, uh, but I will over time. And I did, while uh, playing Spider-Man, uh, Feel and hear the fans kick in a little bit um, right here uh, I could feel the exhaust a little bit it got a little toasty but not on the actual grips my hands didn't get hot at all so um, that was good I this will probably be my primary gaming handheld console going forward I'm gonna have to find a screen protector see if uh, there's one out there that doesn't mess with the touch screen um, but uh, really uh, fantastic uh, handheld gaming console. There is one thing. Um, it, it's not light, as a matter of fact. It, it, it gets pretty heavy over time. And so I was on the couch playing some games like this with it kind of over my head. And I, I'll be honest with you, I was like that playing the game for about maybe five minutes like oh boy I started to feel it so anyway uh, just keep that in mind if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike hit the subscribe button we appreciate it helps the channel not only that gives us an opportunity to bring more tech videos like this to you and for that we appreciate it we'll see you in the next one